crop it out afterwards. I'm not good at cropping it. Really I'll, kind of I'll do it for you. Okay. Okay, you're good whenever. Okay. So, uh, this is a setup and takedown for Jeep JT who requested it when I posted the video on the Princess Auto Batwing awning. So, because I'm short, I will use a stool. Of course, I'm not doing the setup on your on your actual vehicle. You do that yourself. So, what's the setup? Just unzip the little thing. Kind of flip it up. Now these poles don't get anchored or, or have this Velcro strap that I put on them. I don't know if you want to come closer. But in here there's kind of like a certain pocket type of thing. You can sort of see it. It's just like an extra piece of material they put. Usually you slide them in there and that would hold it up sort of. And then you would take your, it has two straps that straps the awning under those straps. Again, I have it wrapped, the pole's all wrapped in my own Velcro here. I put three pieces on it just because it's easier once you're doing it to stick it in and strap it all back up. So what I'll do is I'll and I would unstrap these, get them ready. This one not no timing on this because I'm not going to feel rushed. <laughs> Basically start pulling out your awning. it only comes with one of these I don't know what you call these strap attachments it only comes with that one another piece I put an extra piece so I could strap it on to onto my um, cross arms easy easy tighten that up if you need to but I think it's probably good length So with no wind, this actually stays up not too bad at this end, but as you can tell, this is the section that you have to build because it only has the three arms that go as far as there. I would probably have got the straps out because we're going to probably, with the wind, need some sort of tie down. Right now I'll put it without the, and these are twist blocks. They're kind of cheapo ones, so I'm not sure how long they'll last for. I'm just putting these down to begin with. Um, I will have to put a one to go in across, but at least start it this way. Ready? So these cross ones have these flattened ends. One goes in that one, one goes in this one here. I'm going to do the cross one first. That's the third one. So technically this is, oh I have two like that so I don't know which one's the first, which one's the last. But up here you have to put a pole going across here, going across here, and then going across the middle. There's a little pocket. I'm going to do Stand up pole here first. And then take one across. It slides into a little pocket. Can you show that pocket over here? There's a pocket on the roof here. So you slide the roof as I just lost it all. Can <laughs> you get covered? <laughs> yeah, just hold that for a second. Slide it in the pocket. Short people problems. Then come across to this one. <laughs> it's not going to be a great video when the videographer has to 
hold the tent together with me. And then another one with the two flat ends. One from under that pole, if you can get that into Probably could put it on the bottom part, that's what I'm on top though. I'm not sure if it's better on the bottom or the top, but get it on there. Okay, I'm gonna have to unlock that so I can twist this properly. Now I did this better last time. I think this actually must go on the bottom. Oops, I thought those poles are falling. I did this better last time. I don't know if I'm what I'm doing wrong here. There we go. This has to go longer. That's what one of my issues is. Stretch that out. Is that in there? Almost. Push it in. Push that in and then stretch the pole taut and then clamp this. I don't know if you could show that. So basically stretch it out and clamp it. And again, this pole could probably go further now. I'm too short. Clamp it. Of course, the best bet too is to tie these down. And that's not on the... That's pretty much it other than tying it down. Oh, sorry. So we've got this middle one across here. This one goes in to another sleeve here. And then unclamp it so you can stretch it. Oh, geez. Maybe I should do this first. Let's see, channel in. Then do that. This is only my, what, second time putting this up? And clamp that tight. And without the poles, if it's not windy, I mean, sorry, without the, if it's not windy, you can do it without the strings, but I wouldn't trust it. And where does that pole go? That pole goes at the back, but we don't have any ground to do it. We don't have any uh, ground at the moment to tie it down to basically like this. Actually, it's not too bad with the wind right now. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? There you go. Now, of course, everybody knows how to do tie down strings. I don't have to show everybody how to do that. If you did, I generally do two for a pole because when it gets windy, they do tend to lift up like a sail. And I would suggest getting longer stakes, such as if this is the side I have them in. At minimum, I would suggest a big nail one. Bigger than this if you possibly can, because literally in the wind, these, this lifts up like a big sail. I would anchor down two strings per pole, and then that's it. It's, once I get more practice, I'm sure I'm gonna be faster at it. <laughs> You're only at nine minutes. What's that? You're only at nine minutes. I'm only at nine that's minutes. pretty good. Okay. And I guess now we can do a little takedown. Try right, tie my bag back up. See the sail ha already happening. Okay, so now to take it down. Usually not too bad for that part. And twist. I don't make them too short though because I want them long enough to go into that pocket. But I'll decide more when the time comes.
buckle it again. people problems. <laughs> you gotta make sure that your stop is out. And the bag is over and this little pocket is available. I don't know if you can see it there. Somewhere else is a strap. There it is. So there's only two of these straps. Would have been smart. They would have put three, but they only put two. So like most bat wing awnings you see, I tend to, you tend to take the bottom corner of the triangle, bring it up to this corner of the triangle, then take the corner again up lift it here, I lift that here, then I pretty much just tighten it up like this, and before I get my poles ready, just tighten in here, I loosely have it in there, so it doesn't come all unraveled on me. up there and get my poles all to a certain length to fit in those pockets and not be too long. I would say about this much would be good. Get all the rest sort of to that same length. So once you have it in the pockets up and above, I just kind of Hold the material there, unbuckle where I had buckled the buckle prior to the poles, bring it up and over, and then including the poles into that buckle. easier said than done sometimes. Same with this one. Unbuckle it. Bring it over the poles. Tuck that material in and buckle it. Tighten her up. That one seems pretty tight. Now the fun part, zipping her back up. Of course, the better you fold the material, the easier it'll be. But the bag is nice that it's a fair size, unlike some awnings you buy where it never seems to fit back in. There you go, it's as easy as that, and once you do it a few times, it's faster. This is what I said only about my second or third time doing it, but I love it. Hope you love it too.